Hey there everyone, this is Jeremy, the Music Andy, here to talk about Five Pebbles newest release, Forget Me Not. Five Pebbles is another name for Sputnik, who has many aliases such as Weather Day, Lola's Pocket PC, Rana's Plastic Bubbles, or obviously Five Pebbles. Sputnik is known for making noise pop, emo, shoegazy projects, and most commonly notable for Come In by Weather Day. This release, Forget Me Not, by Five Pebbles, is a 20-minute EP releasing from Bandcamp. Sputnik calls this a spiritual resurrection of an old EP that was lost many years ago, recording it in just a week. The special thanks section on Bandcamp is absolutely hilarious too, with Sputnik thanking Waking Up Confused, Melon Sodas, Horses, and Big Spiders, among other various things. I love the work of Sputnik and I'm very familiar with what I'm going to get on this EP. I think Sputnik is a very progressive person in the music scene. From paper, the labels and genres associated with a lot of Sputnik's work seem like it would, you would understand what it's going to be, but Sputnik has a very personal uh, touch on a lot of songs. From paper, the labels and genres sound like music that you'd be uh, familiar with, but Sputnik has a very unique sound to their music. High energy, brash levels of noise, playful lyrics, and insane guitar work all come from Sputnik. With that being said, let's dive right into this EP. I'm super excited to talk about it. Should I tell you? No, I, I, I don't want to tell you yet. No, okay, I'll, I'll tell you. This is probably the best, this is easily the best work that Sputnik has ever made. If they can make this EP in a week, can I have an EP every single week just like this? This EP sounds a lot to me like Have a Nice Life, but in a very whimsical, mystical approach. Giant walls of sound, bold brazen drums firing like gunshots, and the synths are horrendously beautiful. Down Softly has a melody that is repeated throughout the song that chameleons itself to the environment that it fits in. From fuzzy shoegaze to ghoulish indie everything just flows so well in this song. No one section feels too long when I'm listening to it because it constantly has switches and section changes that make every single listen new. Cat's tongue really goes into the noise pop side of things and it really wears its influences on its sleeve, but that's not a bad thing because Sputnik still has a personality that pokes through no matter what. The tempo of this song feels a lot faster and the energy feels more consistent throughout this track. Only in the final moments do you really get a chance to breathe. The tempo is a lot faster and the energy feels a lot more consistent. Only in the final moments do you really get to breathe. You start to hear this teapot boiling over noise kind of at the end of the song and I could not breathe at all during that part. It's beautiful and like I said, breathtaking. Despite having very calm vocals, Sputnik is really playing these instruments with complete passion and I love every single second of it. Kiss is the third track on this EP and it is a very nice break. The dial of noise is completely turned down and it's going for more of a dizzy, hazy spell. Comparing it to cooking for absolutely no reason at all, it's almost like a palate cleanser to enhance other flavors later on in this album. I understand that sounds completely boring, but this is still a very enjoyable piece. The slippery guitar hook is wildly addicting. When that bend hits and the song kind of decompresses itself, I nearly almost passed out. We Know the Devil is the fourth track on this EP and is my personal favorite. The vocal melodies are phenomenal and at times it sounds like they're being washed away by this wave of noise. This song has a tiny little glitched out deconstructed section that might be my music moment of the entire year. It's incredibly urgent and I hate using this word to describe music, but it's epic. I wish that this idea was ran with a little bit more, but it kind of just fizzles out and I'll take what I can get honestly. The drums on this piece are also very snake-like, and there's a lot of rattles and hissing going on. I don't know why I felt the need to point that out, but I just thought it was a cool touch. The final trick, a word that I am not going to even pretend to pronounce, but can translate it to forget me not, is incredibly heavy. Way more deconstructed, and it almost has an industrial feel to it. If you listen to this EP in one sitting rather than just picking songs here and there, this is a perfect closer. An already credibly stripped down album, this song completely breaks the floor and becomes a bottomless pit. There really isn't any place to find footing in the song and you're just grasping with your mind wandering to every single instrument that's going on right now. Great ender, really well done in this EP. This EP is one of the best of the year and like I said, I think it's Sputnik's best work yet. 
please, if you have not heard this EP and you like emo, shoegaze, noise pop, go ahead and try it out because it is well worth the listen. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to give this 9.2 melon sodas out of 10. What did you think of this EP? What EPs and album would you like me to review in the future? Please leave a comment below and let me know. Subscribe if you like the content, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.